Where does my mind wander? Especially in the prayer. And one of the most important litmus tests or measures, gauges, for where one is with Allah Ta'ala is the Salat itself. What is the quality of our prayers? Quantity, it's, with our busy lives in the modern world, it's very difficult to take on a lot of quantity. We should strive to increase, but one thing that we can all do, irrespective, regardless of you know, how busy we are with our obligations in the world, is to look at the quality of our prayers. What's the quality of our salawat? The five obligatory prayers are the most important, and then any other of the sunnah, emphasize sunnahs. Where are our hearts during the prayer? Where are our minds during the prayer? Is the prayer filled with light and illumination and remembrance of Allah Ta'ala and the existential states of the heart that are appropriate for the prayer, like gratitude, like contentment, like expressing need for Allah, like Haiba, having reverential awe for the divine, like Hayat, like having, having, like having shame and modesty before the divine majesty, like uh, ultimately love, the sunnah of our Prophet Wasallam, is to pray with love. He is Habibullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What are our existential, or do we have such existential states during the prayer? Or is the mind wandering in the valleys of dunya? That I need to take care of this, and as soon as the prayer is over, I have to check off that, and then there's this other thing, and by the way, I need to text this person, there's that email I have to send. And it's a litany and a list of Ghafla, the valleys and the alleyways of ghafla, heedlessness. And this is something prohibited by the text of the Qur'an, وَلَا تَكُمْ مِنَ الْغَافِلِينَ Do not be amongst those that are heedless, in particular in the Salat. We ask Allah for afiyah. 